what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to the top 5 best assault rifle loadouts in Call of Duty Warzone right now and I'm going to be ranking them from worst to best so you know exactly what you should be using if you want to get as many kills and wins as possible and if you are new around here make sure to hit that subscribe button and also smash the thumbs up button whilst you're at it but let's get into the first gun ranking in 5th place. So coming in at 5th place for the best assault rifle in Warzone right now we have the C-58, which until recently really dominated the meta alongside the Krig, especially when we had the four times scope, which didn't move at all and was so easy to land your shots consistently at a distance. However, right now, the C-58 still has incredible stopping power and one of the fastest times to kill in the game if you manage to land enough headshots at those long distances, which is quite difficult when you're taking into consideration the recoil of the C-58, which will bounce a fair amount, but will be every other weapon in this video if you manage to pull it off, which will help on occasion now the fire rate of 553 rounds per minute is one of the slowest but 58 damage for a headshot 44 to the neck and then 37 everywhere else is one of the best in the entire game though it isn't number one anymore it's still one of the strongest weapons in the game right now so for the C-58 loadout, you're going to have the agency suppressor on there. It's pretty standard, along with the 18.5 task force barrel, the actual arms three times, the field agent grip, and the 45 round drum mag. Now, most of the time on a lot of assault rifles, I use that base mag now, so you get the fastest ADS possible. This is an incredible setup for the C-58. And then I used the measured reticle, uh, which you get in a Milano blueprint, which is really nice for those of you wondering from the gameplay. Uh, but that's the C-58 that you want. And I pair it with a bullfrog. The bullfrog, since a load of the nerfs to a bunch of the other weapons recently, has become one of the best weapons in the entire game. You've got a couple options. Um, I like running the Groove Suppressor, the Task Force Barrel, the Tiger Team Spotlight, the Spetnaz PKM Stock, so you get that strafe speed, and then the Bruiser Grip. Um, and that works perfectly with the C58 for a great all-round loadout. Next, we have the Cold War AK-47, and it is back. The latest update sounded as if the Cold War AK actually received a nerf, but that just isn't the case. With you being able to deal one of the fastest time to kill in Warzone out of the assault rifles at close range and a very competitive TTK at long range makes this one of the best all-round ARs in the game, especially with its new recoil pattern, which kicks straight up for the first 10 rounds or so before slightly going to the right, which makes it very very easy to use and like I said its damage profile was used as a close range weapon before a bunch of nerfs so it's almost become the perfect sniper support assault rifle with a solid fire rate of 600 rounds per minute then 54 damage for a headshot 43 to the neck and then 36 everywhere else and only two damage profiles you should be seeing a lot more people using this as an assault rifle in the near future like I said, the Cold War AK-47 is one of the best all-round assault rifles right now. Um, and on it, you're going to want to be running that Groove Suppressor, the 20-inch Spetnaz RPK barrel, the Spetnaz grip, the 45-round mag, and then the actual arms three times, and whatever reticle you like. Um, and then personally for me, I've been pairing it with a sniper when I've been playing regular Verdansk. Um, and then in uh, in Iron Trials, etc., I'll pair it with an SMG. But that sniper is the Swiss. Groove Suppressor, 24.9 Combat Recon, SWAT 5 MW Laser, bruiser grip serpent grip but do not underestimate the cold or ak it should be being used a lot more give it a go and let me know what you think down in the comments the xm4 like the ak-47 used to be used as a close range assault rifle but it's now become the easiest ar to use in warzone if you struggle to control recoil after the changes to the krig have made it pretty much unusable now what's great about the xm4 is easy to control recoil, a very high fire rate in comparison to other Cold War assault rifles, and a solid damage profile, which actually helps give you a consistent TTK, as you're not overly reliant on headshots, as its damage profile is 30 damage to the chest and then 45 to the head and neck, which makes that upper damage profile a lot easier to land, because you get the same damage for neck and headshots. But what makes it one of the best is, like I mentioned, the recoil. You'll find it much easier to land your shots at medium to long range 
using the XM4 compared to some of the higher skilled weapons like the C58, the EM2 and the AK47. And I think that's incredibly important when you come to finding the assault rifle to use. Find a gun that's recoil is easy for you to constantly control because if you're missing your shots, even though a gun might have a potential faster time to kill, it won't matter because you won't be achieving those because you're missing your shots completely. It's one of the reasons everyone used the Krig over the C58 was because it was so hard to miss at a distance and the XM4 is now that easy to use assault rifle. So for the XM4 loadout, we have the agency suppressor for the muzzle, the 13.5 inch task force for the barrel, the field agent grip as the underbarrel, the 45 round mag, and then the actual arms three times. A lot of the setups for the assault rifles are very similar, and that's because they're pretty much the optimum metal setups, um, and you don't really want to go changing it. A few times you could get away with changing the agency suppressor to the base suppressor, um, but I wouldn't recommend this, that uh, this is just so easy to control. Um, and then I was pairing it with the Gallo. I'm sorry about this but it's the most broken gun in the game right now agency choke 21.4 reinforced heavy sof target designator sas combat stock and then the 12 round tube um, is what i personally use but this setup is unbelievable and trust me if you struggle with recoil in warzone this is the setup that you want to be using Next, for the best assault rifle loadouts in Warzone right now, we have the EM2 assault rifle. This just got added this season and has already gone through a ton of tuning, but it's one of the best performing assault rifles at those medium to long range distances. Its recoil is pretty much all vertical and also has the highest bullet velocity, which makes it that little bit easier to track your opponents and land those shots at those longer distances. Now, it does have the lowest fire rate out of all the assault rifles we have in this video. So if you want to get the most out of it, you need to be making sure that you're landing all your shots or the time to kill is just going to drop drastically and you'd be better off with the XM4, which has that higher rate of fire, which, like I said, gives you a bigger margin for error. And it might be the slowest rate of fire weapon, but it's got the best damage profile with 61 damage for a headshot and then 49 to the neck and then 41 everywhere else personally i really enjoy the em2 and it's become my go-to in competitive play if i'm not playing the iron trials so for the m2 loadout we have the agency suppressor 25.8 inch task force barrel the field agent grip the 40 round mag and then the actual arms three times optic pretty standard once again um, and i paired it with one of my favorite guns in the game right now the high mobility mac 10 this thing is rapid so easy to use incredible strafe speed agency suppressor tiger team spotlight bruiser grip 53 round drum SAS combat stock uh, and honestly you're on skates with this thing and to make it even better in that sense if you want the extra mobility you can go sound suppressor on there as well makes it even faster agency can help out from time to time but sound suppressor is kind of my little go-to trick um, or especially on rebirth uh, but pair that with the m2 best assault rifle in the game right now as an actual assault rifle but let's get into the best gun for mid to long range in warzone so the best assault rifle in Call of Duty Warzone right now, or at least the gun that operates as the best assault rifle, is actually the MG82 LMG. And there's a few reasons for this. Firstly, I don't know how, but it seemed to completely avoid all the nerfs that landed for the LMGs in the recent patch. And I've always described it as a long distance version of the FAR because it has that fire rate of 930 rounds per minute. So you can dish out a lot of damage very quickly, especially with the 125 round mag. And it's also got a very solid damage profile of 35 damage for a headshot, 29 to the neck and chest, and then 26 to the extremities, which gives this gun a really fast time to kill potential. And that carries across to the Iron Trials, where everyone has 400 health, as it's the only gun that can give you a TTK of under 1,000 milliseconds if you just hit chest shots, which is not something to overlook. Now, I'll be honest with you, at a distance, it can take some time to get used to landing your shots, as the high rate of fire can throw you off if you aren't able to control the recoil properly, but I love this thing and probably is the gun that I use the most at the moment. So we've now got the class set up for the MG42 that you're going to want to be using. Agency suppressor, 16.4 inch task force, field agent grip, 125 round mag, and then the actual arms three times. Uh, if you're playing like Iron Trials and you kind of want, don't think you need the 125 or you're playing solos, you can get rid of that and put the Serpent Wrap on for a fast radius. But 
me personally i like having uh, the 125 bullets it does help out from time to time and do not underestimate it but it's an unbelievable weapon and then pairing that i have the ppsh one of the most underrated guns in the game right now especially in modes like iron trials and rebirth where you'll get you'll need a lot of bullets in your mag this is one of the highest damage output per mag in the entire game grew suppressor Tiger Team Spotlight, Spetnaz PKM Stock, Bruiser Grip, and the 71 round drum. Um, and it's not the Gru Suppressor, it is the Sound Suppressor, because you need that faster ADS and Sprint to Fire speed um, to make this a really effective SMG. Try this out, let me know what you think. And also, if you agree with my top five rankings for the best assault rifles uh, in Call of Duty Warzone right now, the C58, the Cold War AK-47, the XM4, the EM2, and then finishing with the MG82. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.